Hi, I'm Amanda Leone. I'm the manager of the NASA Distributed Active Archive Center at the National Snow and Ice Data Center. As one of 12 NASA DACs around the country, which has been operating for nearly 30 years at NSIDC, we support both the vision of NSIDC and the NASA Earth Science Data System. We're doing this through specific strategic goals, which include broadening the access and utility of the NASA data we steward, increasing the accessibility of the data services and support we offer, and continuing to evolve our expertise in earth science data systems. One of the areas that is both an opportunity and a challenge for the NSIDC DAC is continuing to provide scalable domain-focused data management. We're responding to changes across many areas of earth science. These include advances in open data policies, growth in data volumes, and even the expansion of the user community that's coming from the rapid physical changes in the cryosphere. And we're doing this within a constrained data management budget. So we're having to look for ways to be both more efficient at publishing and supporting data, but also advancing the capabilities that we offer. Another focus area for the NSIDC DAC that's both an opportunity and a challenge is the role we're playing in evolving data access to the NASA Earth Data Cloud. And doing this in a way that aligns with the research needs of our user community and truly leverages the advancements that cloud technologies offer. The migration of our data to the cloud will be incremental, meaning not all of our data and services will transition to the cloud as one. Therefore, the NSIDC DAC is going, having to carefully consider the research needs of our user community such that we're aligning the data products, the services, the workflows, and even the formats, the ways in which the data are presented in the cloud so that they support specific use cases in research. And since our user communities don't just work with data at NSIDC DAC, we're also having to consider data that's within EOSTIS or even data that's at other agencies internationally and nationally, and how that connects to the data analysis and research needs of our user community. The cloud has the opportunity to provide more open and scalable science, but it's taking some very holistic understanding of our user communities in order to make this evolution. Thanks for your time.